Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Gina. I'm working in my Christmas journal tonight. Here's the front of it. And tonight I'm working on um, one of Marguerite Miller's uh, Christmas uh, <coughs> collages. I just have the assignments. I don't have the book because I wanted to work in this. I'm doing uh, Marguerite Miller's. I've got the Defember. I always can hear it in my mind and then I can't get it out of my mouth. It just frustrates me. And then I've also got Barbara um, 49 Dragonflies Collage 2020 because I love to collage so I pull that out. So I'm doing like all of them. Uh, so they're not all being done on the right day. So this is Xmas Collage number three. We need things with rings. So I pulled out a Christmas tree because trees have rings, right? That's what I'm thinking. They have rings, um, you know, as they grow. I hope I'm thinking about that right. Sometimes I think of things weird. Oh, and please ignore this. I was trying to... Um, this book is very, very white. And the white in the spine drives me crazy. So I was trying to ink it, and I don't know what's going on there. <coughs> it will get covered up tomorrow, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, <coughs> it looked that bad on this side, too. But it's covered up. So, but, yeah, don't they have rings as they grow? Like, if you cut apart a tree, you can see all the rings. I think I'm, tell me if I'm thinking wrong. But that uh, the Christmas tree is what's going in there for my rings. A wreath. I have this wreath. It came out of a children's um, songbook. And I just think it's so pretty with the kids in between it. I love it. Okay. A word written backwards. I'm going to write that on this little um, thing here. It's got pass on there. And I'm going to write my name on there backwards. <laughs> Let's see how that goes. Something found in a desk. Okay. I went a little caca here. It started out with, I was thinking of stamps. Because you always have stamps on your desk. I mean, most of the time you do. And then I printed some postcards they're in here somewhere, the postcards I printed. Um. <laughs> oh, here they are. I printed these postcards. These are the ones I printed. Not all of this is going on here, of course, but I thought, you know. Then I started going through here because I thought, what can I write on? And then I thought dictionary and Christmas tree I want on there for sure. And then this is just all um, there's another stamp. This is all stuff that I can use in there because, you know, it's stuff that you might have on your desk. It's mail stuff and tickets and, um, ta you know, tags and stuff that this stuff might be on your desk. You know, little parts of a letter and stuff. So, um, that's all stuff that might be on your desk. But this is going on there for sure. Okay, and then um, something salty. This came out of a, oh, um, one of these cookbooks. Uh, these gooseberry patch. These are great. If you see these, these are great for stuff to put in your um, journals because the little pictures in here are fabulous. They're so cute. This is a fall one. They're just so cute. And then they're good for coloring in too. So I found popcorn. So I'll cut that out and that's going to go on there. Rubber stamping. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to... I don't know if you can see that. I think I'm going to stamp these little gingerbread guys. Or maybe these. Or maybe just Merry Christmas. Or maybe the Rick Rack. I don't know. Um, that's going to come towards the end depending on what is going to fit on here. It may just be this little ho-ho sign. Ho-ho-ho. That did not come out very well. But something is going to get stamped, and I've got this um, coffee dyed paper to stamp it on. So first, we're going to get the Christmas tree on here. And I did go ahead and collage on the background, just so it's covered up, because this is a wedding book. <laughs> so, you know, nothing on there needs to really be on here. i got to get a drink real quick. Uh, I'm doing this on Sunday night, December 5th. I'm not sure what day you'll see this. Probably about a week from now. Working way ahead because we're going to our daughters to help her move here in just a few days. We hope. I um, told in an earlier video today of the woes of 
um, why that may not happen so soon, but just a hiccup in their move. Uh, we'll find out tomorrow when the closing date is. <laughs> I think her husband is about to lose his marbles over this close and their, oh, their, their real estate agent. <laughs> We should have taken care of these things. We should have at least known so that they could have been on it. Because there's no way they know these things. That's what your real estate agent is for. But anyway. Yeah, because they're first time buyers, you know. They've printed all this time. And we have never bought a house that had a well, so we don't know these things. I mean, our house here had a well. We filled it in, but it had a well, but that was not our source of our water. Um, it used to be the source of the water. It was the source of the water here when I was a kid, but um, Grandma and Grandpa had county water put in here when I was a teenager or so. Thank goodness, it had sulfur water here. Ugh. I remember being a kid and thinking, oh, so stinky. Oh, it was. I don't think I want the... I don't know about the presents. How to do that without the presents? Because it's going to take up so much room. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess I better cut out some of the presents here. Cut out the bear. Cut out all the rest of that stuff. We live in my grandparents' home. We bought it, purchased it after they passed away. But, so we didn't have to worry about the well because, well, back then, I don't even, even know if you had to. That's been many years ago. But the well wasn't our source of our water. Just what we washed the car with, that kind of stuff. But, um, I fill that in after one of our kids pulled in the driveway and ran over the, <laughs> the thing. <laughs> we just had it filled in because <laughs> it was going to be a lot of trouble to try to fix all that. And literally all we did was um, now that we uh, want to, we have garden in the summer, we sure wish we wouldn't have filled it in because that was free water. <laughs> Oh well, wish I would, wish, what is that? I can't even remember what it is now. I, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I'm too tired. It's late at night. You guys are probably tired of me saying that, but I've been staying up late trying to get things done. Never guess I used to be a night walker. <laughs> Not that long ago either, just a few years ago, about three years ago. <laughs> oh, I just dumped in books. I have a trash can so my cat can come in here and try to get it back over here. Alright, so I guess the tree kind of has to be there, right? Okay, let's cut out the popcorn. Popcorn's kind of the oddball thing in this whole picture, I think. Seems like there's always something, though, because that's what makes it challenging. Getting that oddball thing to fit in there.
I can't think of anything to talk about because I talked about today in my last video. I sent the video out to my husband's sister and she was like, oh man, look what they did to the house. It really does look bad. <laughs> it looks really bad compared to how it looked when they all lived there. They looked really nice when Grandma and Grandpa lived there. They, they took really good care of it. They were very particular about it. They kept everything up, fixed up. and oh, Has not been taken care of since. I think it's been like not it's been abused <laughs> so that was kind of hard on his sister to see it my husband got really choked up at one point when we were doing the video they turned his bedroom into a, his childhood bedroom into a bathroom and it is hideous <laughs> it is hideous it has this big jacuzzi tub thing in it and it is so filthy. Oh, it's, it's hit, the whole bathroom's hideous. It it's in a room that originally was a back porch to this house. It's about back porch that you got to the um, back yard in. But when Grandma and Grandpa took my um, husband was the youngest of five kids and they took them in and um, my husband was just a baby when that happened and they took them in and there's two two boys and three girls so the three girls went to the upstairs of the house there was one bedroom on the main floor and then two little bedrooms upstairs and so the back porch um, grandma's sewing room they turned into a bedroom for the boys and then the girls went upstairs. I think I'll put the popcorn right here maybe or maybe over here. I'm not sure. Then I have, I have to get fit a postcard in here. There's only going to be one. This is my favorite I think. Unless I use one of these little ones that I didn't print for this. Um, anyway, so they turned that. They they, you know, fixed it up and turned it into a bedroom for them. Well, now, these people, I don't know, someone along the way, I think it's had a couple different owners since Grandma sold it. I know it has, because the people that Grandma sold it to moved out of it a long, long time ago. So it's had at least two owners. Because she told it, she sold it to a minister and his wife, and they took care of it when they lived there. They were nice people. Um, I'm going to put that there because that star, the top of the star is there. That looks kind of pretty there. Or I could just put a male thing there. But that... So what used to be a back porch is now this awkward bathroom, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's, yeah, you walk in and you have to go up a step to the, to this jacuzzi tub, and then there's a toilet over here, it's weird, but then the rest of it, you go down and there's a sink and this weird little cubby with, I don't know, it's weird. It's weird. <laughs> but... So what's really weird is that you used to have to walk down to get into the room, but now you have to walk up. I, I don't know, but anyway, it was it was really strange and just awkward. <laughs> that used to be his bedroom. Maybe this room. There's some stuff not stuck down here.
so it was it was different <laughs> but the kids really enjoyed seeing it they just don't quite remember grandma's house and they hear us talk about it a lot we drove by and showed it to them but they've never been able to see the inside of it yeah, okay I like that one there and we need some stamps oh this is gonna have to go in there somewhere that can go right down here I think I haven't I haven't got anything um, oh I still got to stamp something too I gotta get this on here maybe this can go up here with my name on it that can go there and maybe some of these stamps but I don't know where the rest of my postage stamps went there's a postage stamp there I don't know where the rest of my cute little ones went. I love this one. Put that one down right there with that. That looks pretty. That one could go right there. I like that. I like that. That goes right there. Okay. Now, I think I will try to write that, write my name backwards, and I should use a marker so that it shows, not that I want it to show, but that's the whole, oh wait, I have this pretty one right here, I have this one, this is pretty. Alright, here we go. right here. See if I can remember how to spell my name backwards. A. <laughs> J-E-A-N-A. A. J. That's kind of more difficult than you think and I don't like how I wrote. That looks very sloppy. Let me get down here. I should have had it closer to me where I could see see it because it looks very very sloppy oh well it's gonna have to be sloppy all right that now um, what am I gonna stamp I'm going to move my book over Gingerbread's not going to fit on there. Um, maybe one of the little houses would fit on there. This little house might look really pretty on there. I think I'll try to stamp that. I think I ought to get my stamp press out. And I think I will stamp it in brown. thing every time I'm awkward with it. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off so it fits on here better. Let's see if it'll trim it very well. My blade, I think, needs replaced. See, it's just chopping it up. Ugh. It's replaced. That's what I should ask Santa for. <laughs> Is a new blade. <laughs> okay. Put this here. Put this here. Let's see if this will work. I think I'm going to put that right there. Put that up. I should 
should have re-inked my ink pad, but I did not. Oh, I don't have that thing turned over. So I can make sure I got this right where it needs to be. So if I have to place it back up there, I can do that. I got a bunch of stuff up here. I'm getting all wrinkled up. I don't want to do that. I spent a lot of hours cutting that stuff out. <laughs> I don't want to run it. Need a drink. up but I got it off. There's still something on there. Yeah. Back of my knife there. Like part of the ink pad or something. Ugh. I don't know what keeps no, I really scraped it. off on my stand bean, you know. All right, now I think I got it. Chucky. I think that's pretty good. It still seems like it's not quite. Let me wipe that off real good. It's not my right one. It's got like a spot right there. All right, let's try this again. spot no matter what because hard to even that out after it's there. That looks pretty good. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get. So I'll stop torturing you through that. I'm just going to put that up there so I can remember to clean that stamp off. Take this over here. Put my magnets back. Put it back. Okay. So. What I am going to do is cut all, I'm going to cut that out, I'm going to ink everything up and glue it down and then I'll come back. So you don't have to watch through all that, okay? Be right back. I'm back. It's the next day. I was starting the next video. I remember, well, hey, wait, I gotta come back and show you what I finished. I almost forgot. I cannot believe I did that. I even had the video loaded into my computer. <laughs> but oh, I remembered. Okay. So, I got it all glued down. I changed a few things. I got some baubles on here. I have these little I think these were called dew drops back in the day. Um, this one is called Winter Retreat and it's by the Robin's Nest. I have no idea. Somebody paid $5.99 for this. I paid a quarter. A quarter or 50 cents at a yard sale um, this past fall. And as you can see, they're really not the right colors for all of this. They're fallish colors. Oh, that's a weird looking bobble. <laughs> but when I put them on, 
the tree. I just kind of put them as close to colors as I could. And look, the orange looks red. And then I put um, the whitish colors. This one, I think I put a yellow over it and it looks purple. Um, they just kind of took on the color of what was underneath them. Oh, that one slid. Oh, well, here, I can fix it. It came off. <laughs> this one is kind of a bluish color. And when I when I put it over the yellow, it, it picks up the yellow and looks just fine. I just put a little double of my glue, and you can't see it, the, the Fabri-Tac. You can't see it when it dries. I think that looks really cool. And of course, I had to use my stickles. I was just thinking to myself, oh, there's a, there's one in the spine of my, <laughs> I don't see where one's missing. I just put them on the red, on the round ornaments. I was thinking to myself, I gotta stop with the stickles, but I love it. Like these old um, stamps, you know, they look so cool with the stickles. And and back in like the 70s, the cards and stuff had all the little shimmery spots on them. So um, that's what I loved about them back then, all the glittery things. So I did, I put some here where the water was and uh, on the rooftop here. And then I made some the snowman glittery and I put some glitter in the pines here and on the little bow so and definitely on the tinsel of the tree I had I had a boo-boo with that because I was over here doing this and I stuck my hand in it so I had to kind of fix it and I found I have this little letter opener thing and it scraped that right off there for me and I got it fixed as good as I could and then I redid my name. I did what I didn't like. Of course, I didn't like how I wrote it, but that wasn't why I redid it. Um, that color, I think I threw that away, but the color that I used, it was just sticking out really bad, and I didn't like how that color was calling attention. So I redid it, and so now it's not just saying, hey, look at me, that color. I did not like that color, and so I found another one that was, it was, it just blends in better. So, and I did it in cursive. I like that better. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I was like so nervous about writing backwards. Why? It's just writing. <laughs> so, that's what I did. And here's my stamped image. So, I have a wreath right here. Oh, the other thing I did is I got out my, um, my watercolor. I got out my, my ink tints. Water well, they're not really watercolors, but you can use water to pull them in. And I did some coloring on the bowl here, and I like that. Uh, so I've got my wreath, my, or my thing with rings is my tree because I think I think I'm right with a tree that's got rings inside it, right? Am I thinking wrong? My brain doesn't fire on all. It's not good anymore. I feel like. <laughs> Okay, and then my wreath, and then my word written backwards. My something found on a desk is all the stamps and the postcard and uh, dictionary. You find a dictionary on your, and I've got a ticket over here. So a lot of those things would be found on a desk. Uh, something salty is my popcorn, and rubber stamping is right here. So I think I've got all of the things. Oh, I've got stamps up here too, and another little, um, I don't know what this is. The Rhode Island Company pass. It's a pass. So some of these things probably wouldn't be found on a, a modern desk, but they would be found on a, you know, desk in the past because we don't have to use a lot of these things now. Dictionaries on our phone, and we our tickets are probably on our phone. <laughs> a lot of things are on our phone now. Our passes are probably on our phone, but. You know, um, in the past they would be on our desk. So, anyway, I will hold this up a little bit closer. And I thank you for joining me. I will be seeing you soon, and you have a blessed day. Bye bye.